Hello and welcome back to the Minecraft Multi Force. Today I'm here with Kayato and he built the Zondercraft Fasoic SDKFZ251. And this is a German World War II armored personnel carrier. So this is also known as a half track. You can see in the front there's like a wheel and in the back there's going to be treads. And this is basically used to uh, shuttle troops and infantry all around. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this build. It's actually been one of many builds that Kayato built recently for the Minecraft Multi Force Arsenal. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Alright, to get started, we're going to take stone brick slab and we're going to place that hovering above the ground. And you want to make sure that it's going to be 8 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> and then we're going to go to um, the front. We're going to add in spruce trap doors on the sides. Then next to that, we're going to add in the front wheel, and that's going to be an upside down nether brick stairs facing inwards. Then we're going to skip a block and add an upside down nether brick stairs facing the front, nether brick slab. And then we want to have um, nether brick stairs facing inside, and then nether brick slab, nether brick stairs facing inside, and then in the back, upside down nether brick stairs facing the back. And we're going to do the same exact thing onto the other side like so and then add in the slabs in between and make sure you're they're facing inwards I did that wrong like so and now what we're gonna do is let's take out um, stone brick slab go to the front and we're gonna add a row across then the middle we're gonna make it a double stone brick block so like like that and then we're gonna place a dark oak wood fence gate in the front now on the sides, we're going to take an item frame and place a glass block inside of it. And this is going to be the headlights in the front. Then we're going to go to the side and we're going to add in upside down stone brick stairs. And then right side up stone brick stairs facing the back. And then upside down stone brick stairs, we're going to add two of them facing outwards. And we're pretty much going to be doing the same thing on the other side. So we're going to add an upside down one here and then one face in the back. And then two upside down ones. Now we're going to add an upside down one uh, right above uh, this back stairs. It's going to be facing the front. Same thing on the other side. It's just going to be like a little window on the side. And then we're going to add an anvil inside for the engine. And we're going to add a V shape using iron trap doors like so. Let's add stone brick slab in the middle. And then we're going to take a stone brick stairs. We're going to add an upside down one inside. It's going to be a little bit tricky. But it's going to be like the front of the windshield. And then we're going to add stone brick slabs on the sides of it. And then we're going to take out spruce trap doors. Put them on the sides of the front. Close them up so we got that nice window covered up. Now we're going to go on the very top. Let's add the turret. So we're going to add stone brick stairs three blocks uh, wide. And we're going to make it curved on the edges. Then um, right behind it, we're going to take out birch fence gate, open that up like that. In the front, we're going to add um, dark oak wood fence gate with an end rod sticking out. Then we're going to go to the side and let's add in three. <clears throat> Then we're going to go to the side, we're going to add three stone brick blocks, both sides. And the back, we're going to add three blocks wide, stone brick stairs, and then we want to curve it on the corners. Then on top, we're going to do the same thing, but right side up. And then the inner part, we're going to have two stone brick stairs facing inside, and then a quartz stairs facing inside. In the back, there's going to be another MG machine gun, so we're going to add in um, dark oak wood fence gate here, and a birch fence gate, open that up towards the rest, and then an end rod sticking out. And I wonder if this is actually an MG42 or not. Maybe that you don't even need to add this, to be honest. Then we're going to take out um, iron bars. Let's add it so it's three blocks long on this side. And then we're going to add in three birch trap doors right over here on the side of these three stone brick blocks. Close them all up so they're paneled. Same thing on the other side. Close them all up. 
and then we're going to take out a green uh, wool. We're going to add two on the inside here. And yeah, this is basically optional though. You don't need to add this. Kayato just wanted to add a little more detail. And here's what the interior looks like so far. Um, if you want to cover up this area, you can. You should place a stone brick block in there, like so. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's add in some buttons. So let's go to the side of the front wheel. We're going to add a stone um, button on the side of that. Then the back buttons, we're going to take out dark oak wood button. Add the sides of the tracks. Same thing on the other track. And then we're going to add it to the side of this white um, court stairs. Then there's going to be a spruce wooden button, just a block away, or two blocks away from the other button on top. Same thing on the other side, I suppose. Then in the front, we're going to add in two uh, light gray carpets, like so. And then we're going to go right underneath, and we're going to add stone brick um, slab in this nook between the track and the wheel. Same thing on the other side. Now we can... Take a look if we uh, done everything. I think we pretty much finished it off. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the German World War II half track, also known as the Zunderkraftfahrzeug SD KFZ251 in Minecraft. And thanks to Kayato for actually uh, building this for the Minecraft Military Force Arsenal. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below because it helps grow the channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos and tutorials like this in the future and we'll see you guys next time.